Two of the morning, Britain, two teenagers have been arrested in Manchester as part of the investigation into the Texas synagogue attack by a British hostage taker. Malik Faisal Akram, originally from Blackburn, was shot dead by the FBI after taking four people hostage during a 10-hour standoff. Well, officers from counter-terror policing Northwest detained the teenagers. Last night, they remain in custody for questioning. Police say they are now assisting the investigation being led by US authorities. The revolving door of accusations, the Prime Minister faces fresh ones that he attended another number 10 leaving bash in the run-up to Christmas 2020. Well, with reports of yet another leaving party, this week the Prime Minister is fighting back to ensure that he isn't forced from leaving his job. Australia says Novak Djokovic can be banned from entering the country for three years. Overnight, the nine-time Australian Open winner flew out of Melbourne on a flight to Dubai after finally losing his visa appeal. And driving their way across the UK, we're joined by Strictly's John and Johannes as they reunite for the live tour. And fresh from last night's judging panel, Ashley Banjo joins us for the latest Dancing on Ice news and who he has his eye on to claim this year's trophy. A new week, but the same weather. Cold and frosty by night, dry and sunny by day. All the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Monday, 17th of January, 2022. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Richard May. Yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, ice on the windscreen this morning, uh, four in the morning. Um, it's January the 17th. Does that ring any bells at all for you, historically? It's January, Blue Monday. Monday, January the 17th. No, it's Blue Monday. Is it? Isn't it, the, isn't it the Monday where we're all supposed to be really, really down? Yeah. I, and the, we need a bit of a lift. That too, but yep. historically, 1983, <laughs> right. 39 years ago, it was the birth of breakfast television. It was 39 years ago. It's the reason we're all here. It's why we're Richard here. Maidley. Monday, January the 17th, 1983, according to the Sunday Times yesterday, I'd forgotten, obviously, Frank Boff opened the programme with the words, Good morning, you are watching the first edition of BBC Breakfast Time, oh. which you went on to host. I did indeed. Yeah, 39 years ago today. That's well, there's a reason to be cheerful. That's you what have I lifted our spirits it's, on uh, Blue look, Monday with look that. Look what happened piece. to Frank Boff, but anyway, we won't go there. Oh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, uh, also this morning, Ash Banjo coming up a little bit later on. I mean, talk about lifting our spirits. I don't know if you saw last night's Dancing on Ice, but Bez no. on the ice with maracas and watermelons. Do we have Do pictures, we have picture? Director Stewart? No, we don't. No. Okay. You, you paint a wonderful picture. <laughs> Man reenacting it. There was a lot of this going on. <laughs> Did you say watermelon? Yeah, there was watermelon on ice. 